She truly is the brightest witch of her age. Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 Hermione moments. It's Leviosa, not Leviosa. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're counting down our favorite book and movie moments from our favorite Hogwarts witch. Number 10, her introduction, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. You're Harry Potter. I'm Hermione Granger. And you are? The moment that our trio first meets on the Hogwarts Express is an important one, establishing the relationship dynamics that will remain throughout the entire series. Hermione appears on the scene trying to help Neville find his toad. Has anyone seen a toad? A boy named Neville's lost one. No. Her haughty, know-it-all attitude is on display from this very first scene as she tries to get Ron to perform a spell in front of her. Oh, are you doing magic? Let's see then. She also proves right off the bat how advanced her magical skills are when she fixes Harry's perpetually broken glasses with a flick of her wand. Hermione pointing out the dirt on her future husband's nose is just the cherry on top. You've got dirt on your nose, by the way. Did you know? Just there. Number 9, Destroying the Horcrux and That Kiss, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2. You do it. I can't. Yes, you can. Ron and Hermione's first kiss in the book differs from the one in the movie, which has divided some fans. Of course, seeing these two share their first romantic embrace was satisfying no matter the circumstances, even though Ron's concern over the house elf's safety was missed in the film. In the movie, however, we get to see an event which takes place offset in the book. Hermione destroying the Horcrux using a basilisk fang is an impressive and dramatic moment that culminates with the long awaited first kiss. <laughs> Number 8, Leviosa, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Wingardium Leviosa. One of the most quotable moments from the first movie is when Harry, Ron, and Hermione are in charms class learning a basic levitation spell. As this was before they were officially friends, both Ron and Harry are annoyed by Hermione's teacher's pet status and know it all attitude. You're saying it wrong. The swish and flick she teaches Ron comes in handy, however, when they're fighting the troll in the bathroom and Ron uses the spell correctly in order to knock the troll out with his own club. It's this moment that's marked in the books as the true beginning of the trio's friendship. Cool. Number 7, beating Ron in a duel. Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. <laughs> The formation of Dumbledore's army in the fifth installment of the story is a plotline that is consistently beloved by fans. During one scene, the group is practicing dueling in the Room of Requirement so that they're ready for a potential battle. In a scene that doesn't appear fleshed out in the book, Ron and Hermione are paired together for a duel and you just know it's going to be good. No one expected Ron to win this one, but Hermione's swift defeat of him was satisfying all the same. It's completely intentional. Number 6, Organising Dumbledore's Army, Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. We've got to be able to defend ourselves. In Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, the Ministry of Magic sends one of their representatives to work at Hogwarts, and she is possibly even more evil than Lord Voldemort himself. Dolores Umbridge tortures her students both mentally and physically and prevents them from learning the defensive magic they need. Hi. So... You all know why we're here. Hermione comes up with a brilliant idea to form a secret group to practice defense against the dark arts, and even recruits all the members. The scene that takes place in the Hog's Head is one of the most loved and memorable of the series. And if Umbridge refuses to teach us how, we need someone who will. Number 5, Changing Her Parents' Memories, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1. Hermione, tea's ready, darling. Coming, Mum. At the beginning of the seventh book and movie, we knew the trio would spend the rest of the series working to defeat Voldemort. We couldn't have anticipated this devastating consequence though. Worried that Voldemort and his followers would target her parents, Hermione decided to take matters into her own hands. Obliviate. 
In the books, this scene is only mentioned, but in the movies, viewers see her image disappear from family photos as the curse to modify their memories takes effect. The magical prowess, as well as the emotional strength this must have taken, is almost unimaginable. Number 4. Identifying the monster in the Chamber of Secrets Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets Wish you were here, Hermione. Hermione establishes herself early in the series as the most proficient magic user in her year, but the stakes are raised in the second book and movie when a monster is set loose at Hogwarts and the threat of students being killed suddenly becomes very real. Hermione ends up being petrified by the monster and is stuck in a comatose state in the hospital wing. Before being attacked, however, she manages to figure out the puzzle, and a crumpled scrap of paper with a single word scrawled on it ends up saving the day. Pipes? It's using the plumbing. Number 3. The Yule Ball Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire She looks beautiful. Hermione's intelligence is what she's always been known for, but her looks are more likely to be mocked than praised. In Goblet of Fire, though, Hermione proves she's got the whole package when she gets doled up for the Yule Ball. She shocks and impresses the other students by attending the ball with Quidditch player and Triwizard Tournament champion Victor Crumb. Her and Ron end up getting in a big fight during the dance, and while Hermione may lose her temper, it's still clear that she's in the right. Excellent. There's a ball. Pluck up the courage and ask me before somebody else does. Number two, punching Draco Malfoy, Harry Potter, and the Prisoner of Azkaban. You foul, loathsome, them evil little cockroach! Hermione's magical prowess and book smarts are obvious, but we had no idea until this moment in Prisoner of Azkaban that she had so much gumption. We had all been wanting to punch Draco Malfoy in the face since he was first introduced but it took a moment of true cruelty on his part for Hermione to finally work up the courage to do it. Rather than cursing him using magic, which probably would have been far more effective, she uses her good old-fashioned muggle skills to get the job done. In the books, it's a slap rather than a punch, but the movie version packs an even greater impact. That felt good. Not good. Brilliant. Before we unveil our top pick, here's some honourable mentions. Hermione, where are you? Do what I say! Trust me! Number one, using the time turner. Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. If you succeed tonight, more than one innocent life may be spared. Okay, at this point, we can pretty much admit that Hermione saves the day at least once in every Harry Potter movie, but there's no time where this is more obvious than in Prisoner of Azkaban. The entire climactic sequence is based on Hermione's ability to travel through time using the time turner she was given in order to squeeze more classes into her schedule. Come on, and we can't be seen. She manages to convince Harry to go along with her plan and saves Buckbeak from execution and Sirius from the Dementor's kiss. It probably should have been called Hermione Granger and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Specto Patronum! Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo UK and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.